All right, so we want our results to be filtered again, but we don't have a neat range that we can build. We don't uh, can't just say less than or equal to, especially for categorical values. So we can actually create a list of values that we want to uh, use. So let's give that a try. Head on over to Azure Data Studio. So now we want first name, last name. Let's add state province. and modify date from, and we'll do a select distinct customer ID, first name, last name. Uh, we need, uh, yeah, we're gonna need that customer ID. From sales LT, customers, customer, as customers, and then we'll do an inner join on that. With the customer address table. On customer ID. And now you can see because I renamed that select distinct customer Azure Data Studio allows me to use that as if it's a new table name right now. It's a virtual table name, kind of. And the fields that are in the table pop up as selections for me, including customer ID here. All right, now I need to go to the actual address ID. So I'll do another inner join. And we'll join to sales LT address on, and then we need the address ID from the customer address. And that should be equal to the address ID in the actual address table. All right. Now, in this case, we're going to add a where. And we want state province. And here's where we'll use the keyword in. So we want it to be in, and we're going to provide a list of values that it can be in. So we'll open our parentheses and start building our list in Washington. Oregon, and again, all of these are enclosed in single quotes, California. And then we'll order by modified date descending, close our query. All right, so let's see what we're doing here. Select my top 100, first name, last name, state, province, modified date from and then this is my where what I'm selecting it from. So I'm calling this my table customers now for this query. And then I'm going to do some joins. So I'm going to join customer, the customer ID and customers to the customer ID and customer address. And then I'm going to take that customer address and connect the address ID to the address ID in the address table. And then I've got uh, the connections I need to verify that the state and province in the address matches what I want, Washington, Oregon, or California. All right, so let's run that. Ooh, ambiguous column name, modified date. So here I've got modified date coming from a number of uh, possible options. Uh, it, it is a field that's common to pretty much all the tables we have in here. So I just have to tell it customers. Modified date. All right. 
let's try that again. Yeah, so now I can uh, get all of my customers from, okay, California, Oregon, Washington that have a date modified most recent first working my way back. All right, so that one had quite a bit going on, but uh, we were able to tackle it one piece at a time and get there. All right, let's go back to the module and see what we want to uh, do next.